2019 Mustang Bullet is, in a word, a monster. In this case, a big, bad, green monster. Ford is selling these special edition Bullet Mustangs around the world. They are a tribute to the classic movie Bullet, starring Steve McQueen, which featured what was arguably the most famous car chase scene in movie history. McQueen played a cop. His name was Bullet, which is why the word Bullet is spelled that way on the car. In fact, the only badging on this car is on the back trunk, in the door sills, and under the hood, where the word Bullet is displayed. You're not going to find fancy badging on the front, nothing really flashy on this car, not a lot of chrome. It's dark, a little bit mysterious. There is much that sets this apart from a standard Mustang GT. The engine gets the intake from the Ford GT350, as well as the cold air intake. The engine breathes better. So what we are talking about here is a car with 480 horsepower, 420 foot-pounds of torque. At each corner you will find special five-spoke wheels and behind them Brembo brakes all around. You have to get used to them, they're really sticky. The wheels are big and wide. Michelin Pilot 4S Sport tires keep the car glued to the pavement. The tires are really exceptional. Have a seat behind the wheel and you'll see that this is light years ahead of the Mustang Steve McQueen drove in the movie. The digital dash is your gateway to a ride that you can configure. The flip of a toggle allows you to switch between a variety of driving modes, including sport, track, drag strip, and normal. You can also configure the exhaust from quiet to normal to track mode, which is really, really loud. There's also a selector for different steering modes. It has electric assist power steering. It's not hydraulic, and you can select between comfort steering, sports steering, normal steering. It's a really nice touch, and the car really does perform uh, under a variety of different conditions in different ways. So you can tailor the car and the suspension to suit your needs at the time. There is no question this is a fast car. The top speed is reported to be 163 miles per hour. The other thing I like about this car is the emergency brake. It's connected to a cable. It's not an electronic or electric emergency brake connected to a little servo or motor. It's all mechanical. You pull on that thing and it engages the emergency brake in the back. The cue ball shifter knob is another nice touch that pays tribute to the original movie car. The six-speed transmission shifts smoothly. The bullet also has active rev matching. Personally, I found the active rev matching annoying. When downshifting, it isn't noticeable if you're hitting the shifts with the same rhythm as the computer, but there are times when you aren't downshifting and the active rev will trigger an RPM boost. I just prefer to have full control over the engine and the entire driving experience. Others may disagree. When Ford came out with this new generation of Mustang, they really stepped up the game, especially in the area of suspension. They put a whole new front suspension on it, a whole new rear suspension. This is not like Mustangs of the past. This one, the handling, it's in a whole different league. The car weighs in at almost 3,800 pounds. It does feel heavy at times, but that weight becomes less apparent when the car gets up to speed and the engine revs high. The bullet is at its best when the engine is revving high. This is not an old school straight line performance muscle car. The bullet can corner. It likes windy roads. It likes to rev high. It sits low enough to satisfy, but sits high enough to clear speed bumps and the suspension is capable of soaking up bumps from potholes and even train tracks if necessary. It's a great road car. If you're in the market for a car that's going to turn heads and, you know, draw a lot of attention to yourself when you're driving it around, this probably isn't the car for you. This is a real enthusiast's car. This is a car that real car people will appreciate, but they may not even realize what you have until they get up close and really take a close look. 
I've had some real car guys come up and go, oh, it's a bullet, cool. But they had to get close to the car. They had to get within, you know, 50 feet of it to realize that one's special. Our test car came with MagnaRide. The electromagnetic suspension is adjustable and it gives the Mustang Bullet incredible handling characteristics. These leather Recaro seats are a $1,500 option. The interior is classic Mustang, but you will find green stitching on the seats and dash to match the Highland green paint. The simulated brushed aluminum centerpiece on the dash is a nice touch too. And the bullet badge with vehicle number on the dash is a reminder that this is a limited edition car. Ford says that these bullet Mustangs are limited edition, but it isn't really clear exactly what the limit on the production run will be. The bullet comes in only two colors, Highland green or black. Even with all that horsepower, the bullet delivers 15 miles per gallon in the city and 24 miles per gallon on the highway. So up front, you're gonna pay about $10,000 more for this bullet Mustang than you would for a Mustang GT. But I think in the long run, that might be money well spent because if you decide to sell this down the road, I think it will probably bring a bigger dollar than a Mustang GT. Overall, I suspect, and I'm just making a prediction here, but I think these will hold their value and depreciate less than a standard Mustang or a Mustang GT. The Mustang competes with the Camaro and the Challenger, but really of the three, the Mustang remains the best by far, in my opinion. The Camaro and Challenger are fine cars, but the Mustang feels tighter, and it feels like it is designed and built a bit better. It is a more refined car. The Bullet Edition takes it all to the next level. It's more than just a Mustang. It's a piece of rolling movie memorabilia. For the money, it offers incredible performance and value. It's a wicked ride, and it is without a doubt. SST approved. Rick Walker, SST, Car Show News.